And this is net worth. So if you take all of your assets and you subtract your debt, you get the net worth of the family. And that's what it is. That's the median in the United States in 2016. It hasn't changed very much. Look at it for black people, black families. Look at it for Hispanic families and look at it for Native American families. My experience with people, whether they're rich people, wealthier people, right, or poorer people, is people are pretty much the same. They work pretty hard. They make some good choices, they make some bad choices, but you know what you just saw right here, this is a little bit different because these are three people from the lower class who are in college. So clearly you got here because you made you're more used to making some good choices, right? A lot of the people that make worse choices, they're not in college, they're not sitting here. But this is what we see. What we do in the United States is we take that and we blame it on people like Virginia and Lexi. There's something wrong with you. And again, I'm only looking at black families here. There's something wrong with you. What's wrong with you? And we're looking at all families. We're not looking at just one. There were some like all the families of black people. There's something wrong with you. There's something you're doing. There's something you haven't lived up to. There's something they've done, the white people have done that you haven't been able to do and you haven't done. And what is it? That's what we do. So the problem is you. And then it doesn't matter that they're here making good choices, trying to figure out how to manage the system, not being tripped up by things that don't bother them, don't do it, doing the same damn thing that everybody else is doing, but we have that, and what is that? What explains that? There's something that you hear all the time from black and brown people, like we never had equal chances. You got it, we didn't have equal chances. Virginia and Logan and Emily can spin their wheels as hard as they want and they're probably not gonna end up there. They're just gonna end up here, just a little bit this way. Black people, Hispanic people, Native American people are never, ever, ever going to be able to catch up. They can't catch up. So the question is, how individuals can, like you, your family did obviously, because look at your family compared to their families, right? You know what I mean, individuals can, but as an entire group, because you got this many years of obstacles, 1619. That's when the first black slaves were brought into the United States. And it's entire system that is set up to ensure that people don't move up. And it goes on until 1964 when the civil rights movement legislation was passed. 1964, man, I'm four years old. Those signs right there, no dogs, no Negroes, no Mexicans. For white people only, Negroes stay out. We serve whites, no Spanish, no Mexicans, no dogs, no Negroes. It's over, that's 300, about 350 years of obstacles. And so what I hear from black people all the time is like, look, treat us. There's no difference between Virginia and Logan and Emily all the same they're doing she's they're all three doing the same things and there's no difference between Lexi and Bella and Jack in terms of how they're moving through the system they're all doing the same thing and if all black people I'm gonna just stick with black people just keep doing the same thing that everybody else who is like them does they're still not gonna catch up. Because you, you can't catch up. Some people can catch up, but you can't catch up. Because you have such a head start. Dude, just like Jack has such a head start on Emily. He has such a head start, man. Just like Bella has such a head, head start on Logan. Like, we don't expect Logan and, and Emily to catch up then why do we expect black people, Hispanic people, and Native American people to catch up? We, already, we have a system that gets reproduced. And so white people are spinning and spinning and spinning in their wheels to ensure that they take all this white wealth and make more white wealth 
And black people are doing the same thing. They're spinning and spinning and spinning on their wheels. And just like the three of you are working really, really hard to try to get up here to maybe like double their wealth. But even if they double their wealth, white people will have doubled their wealth. And you're still behind. From black people and brown people. It's like, look, we're willing to work hard. We work hard. We make good choices. We're going to do the best we can with what's at our disposal. We're going to do all this kind of stuff. And there have been these obstacles. Because what white people do too often is say, well, why, are, why, are, why don't you have more money? Why don't you have more? Why aren't you more like us? Why? 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 Why didn't you do it? Why can't you do it? Why is this graph like this? And the only explanation that white people can come up with, not again, not everybody that people come up with, is that well, you, mu you must have done something wrong. And what I'm, what I'm saying here is like, no, no, no. People are doing the same thing. But when you have 350 years of obstacles, you know, obstacles, man, so many obstacles, but not every white person. You know what I mean? Like, look at, here's two white people right here whose families and their legacy, they're not on top. They're not privileged. Yeah, you got white skin and that gives you a certain amount of privilege, but you're not privileged. I don't really hear black, see Virginia and Lexi. White people will often say, why are black people complaining all the time, right? People are complaining. Just work harder. Do whatever you got to do, but stop complaining. Are we, are we right? You hear white people say that? Where you live, for sure, they say that. Yeah? You guys hear that? Mexicans, white. Okay, so we all, all the white people up here have agreed. What I hear from black people is like, we're doing everything we're supposed to do. But you got 350 years of obstacles. Can you all just acknowledge that so we can begin to acknowledge, because this didn't come out of nowhere. It came out of the obstacles, man. It came out of deep institutional racism. I think you made a very good point. Like this country was built on like, white supremacy. So for you to think like, it doesn't still affect us today. Like this is exhibit one of like, ways that we go about our day and how it's affected us now. And how even after slavery ended, we were given like black people were given nothing. So just, they're just like, here, go on. Virtually nothing, right? Three, nothing changed. Nothing. If that number was the same, if the average black, the median black family income for black people was $170,000, do you know how different the race conversation would be in the United States? So like, why don't we look at, we don't look at these two and say like, oh, you should be able to be down there. Why do, why do we look at anybody else and say, like, you should be able to be where... Stop complaining. This is the biggest obstacle to race relations in the United States. Is that we don't see the causality behind these numbers right here. Why are those people complaining? Maybe they're not complaining. Maybe what it is, is saying, you cannot... It's just ignorant and dumb to not look at 350 years of obstacles to get us to this. And so what I hear black and brown people doing all the time is trying to talk to white people. This is why we have all these, class, these programs about race and diversity and one thing after another. Because I'm hearing all the time people just saying, can you just put your attention to this? Can you just acknowledge that? Just acknowledge it. So, the, so all, all people, myself included, for this particular class of people, Jack and Bella, have this certain amount of white privilege, man, because white, whiteness still has it, right? And Logan and Emily have a certain amount of white privilege from down here. It's okay. It's okay.